<laughs> well, welcome back to Painting with Master Temple, my fantastic artistic friends. Let's have a look at this crazy thing I've already got started up here. Now, this is a, uh, a canvas panel, a Windsor & Newton canvas panel, and it, it comes white, already pre-primed. Okay, so I've launched that up onto the old easel, and what I've done, I've taken some black acrylic primer, okay, or black gesso, or something good and dark, that you can paint over and I've painted the shapes of some hills and uh, down here we've got a little bit of a, a fast running stream okay so I've taken that black primer and in places I've thinned it out a little bit so it looks grey and I've put big blobs on and so it'll look like the stones at the deep of the you know in, in the bottom of a, a, a little stream a little river that you can actually see see down into all goes to plan okay I uh, allowed that to dry, now I've completed the bottom, uh, I've allowed that to dry completely, come on get me teeth in Dan, allowed that to dry completely, now the bottom I've coated in liquid clear and the top just a very thin layer of liquid white and you can see this distant hill there, okay this distant little peak of, of, of a mountain or a hill and that's covered in liquid white, if we apply the liquid white thin enough we can still see the black underneath, okay, so I thought let's do a nice little scene something reminiscent of uh, my Yorkshire uh, some places like uh, Knaresborough places like that uh, it's also very familiar to people that live up in Scotland as well so I believe and uh, also down in Wales okay so if you've got a place that looks like this near you let me know okay so I've just taken a tiny bit of Indian yellow on the little tiny brush okay and I'm just gonna wince in a little tiny little tiny touch of yellow now go over the black okay and go over this little hill there as well okay so all being well we'll have a nice little glow up here okay now i don't want it too too distinct so i'm just using a very little amount of paint and i'm using a um, little tiny brush as well okay so i'm just gonna whip, wash that brush off in odorless thinner shake it off and then Give it a good rattle. Okay, now I'm going to take a bigger brush. Okay, we'll take whatever we've got going. This one looks fine and handy. Ooh, we've got a bit of a bit of a sticker on the old uh, palette there. And I'm just going to take some phthalo blue. Okay, some fate, some nice phthalo blue. Boy, it's warm today. It's warm. And up here, I'm just going to swirl in a nice little sky. And that'll mix with the liquid white that's up there. Just like that. So start at the top and then work your way down. And because we're using hardly any paint on the paintbrush, we can come all the way down and it'll pick some of that white up, go over the hills, over the hills and far away, yeah. Go over the hills and come almost down to the yellow. Okay, and then just gently, we're gonna just tease these two colors together. We don't want, we don't want much of a tease because uh, we don't want much of a, uh, the blue into the yellow. Oh, we'll get a green sky. We certainly don't want that. Okay, so in fact, I'm gonna get a bigger brush. That might be better. Make sure it's clean and dry. Big brush. Okay, and I'm just gonna get in there, get in there, and really take out the brush strokes, the tap marks. So we've just got a nice little glow just there, okay. Right, so that's as, that's all gonna do for a sky. All right, well, do, 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 do. yes, I think if we get some white paint, no, we won't. I'm thinking about misty areas down here. So we'll maybe put a bit of a misty area there. So yes, we'll get a bit of a white paint, just a tiniest amount of white paint, okay, and just tap. Just tap a little bit in there. We can come back in and redefine these edges at some point. But if we just tap a little bit in there, and follow the hill up, okay? And this will give the impression that this hill is sitting in a in a haze, okay? Just there like that, maybe a bit more. Just like that, okay. That's all we want, and then just gently lift up lift up lift up lift up lift up okay take that out don't worry about down here okay we'll put some whiting down there in a in a minute okay so that is that for that hill okay let's 
creep forward. So I'm going to grab a fan brush. Should I get? Yes, nice big fan brush. Okay, and I'm going to get some. I'm going to get some Van Dyke Brown. Okay, some Van Dyke Brown. Okay, and of course, because we've got the black on the underside. It doesn't take much paint, but all I'm interested in is that nice top edge. So I'm just going to wiggle and jiggle that nice top edge. And we've got liquid clear underneath this as well. So it'll slide very neatly. Okay, we can take that off there as well. Zip that off. Okay, and we'll just fill this in. And we'll grab some other colours as well and change the flavour a little bit. Okay, so just really push some paint in there okay i'm gonna grab some let's grab some some yellow ochre see what color we've got on there that looks nice doesn't it i don't know if you can see that properly i can from where i am but uh, the angle that your camera is looking at it might uh, might not uh, <laughs> you might not be able to pick that up let's grab some greens as well let's grab some greens yellow ochre we'll grab a bit of black in a moment Cool this back side of this uh, that, this big hill down like that. Okay, let's bring it all the way down. We know we're gonna have a misty area here, and we know we're gonna have one there as well. Okay, like that. Uh, let's grab some black. Like we said, not wash the brush yet. We don't care about the brush just yet. That's gonna pick up all the colours. Okay, like so. Maybe. Maybe a little bit of crimson. You may not pick this up, but it's there. Okay, so a bit of crimson in there as well. Because some of these hills have got lovely, lovely purpley heather, thistles, and uh, and all sorts of nice, lovely looking flowers. Okay, let's set that down. Let's go back to the brush that's got a tiny bit of white on. Grab a bit more. Okay, and just let's just tap in here some some white paint. Okay, just tap 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 tap, and then just tease it into the hillside. Okay, just like that. Pick up the colours that we've put down on the hill. Go over this one. We're not bothered about this one just yet. We'll come back and and tinker with that one at some point. Maybe grab a bit more. Just like that. Okay. Okay, let's get to our goat hair brush. I went through a period of calling it a pony hair brush, but it's not, it's actually goat hair. And then just tease there, just like that. Okay, so now we've got another hill just sat in the mist there. Okay, back to those dark colours. Okay, Van Dyke Brown. Grab some black, okay. Whatever colours we've got going, and we'll put in a nice big, big moorland, a big hill there as well, just like that. Now again, I'm just filling this in. All I'm bothered about is that nice sharp top edge. So let's let's concentrate on that. So if you use a fan brush, I find if you use a fan brush, you'll get all kinds of different different variations of uh, of strokes and I find that a little bit more control in, than if you use a big massive two inch brush or of course if you've got a massive canvas and a massive amount of paint on your palette that's the one to go for the two inch but if this is 16 I think 16 or 18 inch so just like that and we'll bring it down there got a bit more green in that one there like so and again just fill this in just like that feather it off into the mist we're going to come back in here and put some white in as well okay let's grab a bit of yellow green some of these sides up just that zinging across there okay like that maybe grab a bit more that and then back to some in fact let's grab some purple put a little hint of purple in there as well just like that okay let's set that brush down okay back to the brush that's got the white on 
then just tap in there as well okay just like that go over this we're creeping forward now we're coming forward just like so just really get in there with that white paint let it pick up some of that greens and blue blues greens and uh, purples <laughs> we don't want blue mist yet <laughs> that's another day dad that's another day okay so there we go so just follow the angle of the hill follow the angle of the hill most important don't just zip it straight off and all those variants of color will stay in that misty area just like that just there like so let me grab a bit more we'll come back in with the old pony hair goat hair whatever it is the soft brush the soft blending brush okay wherever i put it there it is okay and then just just tap it's so soft so delicate this and then just tease up the side of the hill tease up the side of the hill remember brush strokes brush strokes are, uh, are very important here very important okay so tease it down there and then just take out the brush marks there like that so now we've got his big hills and they're creeping forward i'm going to wash this one just because i like i like washing brushes and beat that off okay so before we get onto the greenery and the the, the fields in uh, in front here uh, nice dry brush and i'm going to take some of that that phthalo blue nice nice warm blue okay and i'm just gonna go across and then you'll be able to see all the little stones all the little stones and underneath all this 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 blue and when we come back on here and put some water lines you'll be able to look it'll give the impression that you're looking actually deep into the water which is is fantastic I once saw Bob Ross doing this on, on one of his shows and uh, and for the life of me I cannot cannot think of what what episode it was. But it's always stuck in my mind, so so we'll give it another we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Okay. Maybe a bit more up there. Okay. Ooh, maybe a bit too much there. That's alright. That's alright. Because we're gonna put green on the hills as well. We can we can take the blue out into that as well. So there's no right and wrong way. There's no right and wrong way. Just blend it there like that. Already it looks like you can see the bottom of that little stream. There we go. And all I did was take a little filbert brush, little script liner brush, and, uh, and just put some some shapes of varying colours, black, when the paint, and the paint's thin on the brush as well, when the paint's thin on the brush you can put, you can make a, you can make these stones in various shades of grey which is quite, uh, which is quite good, I enjoy that. Okay, right, let's get to his brush which we painted the mountains with, let's pick up some sap green, okay, that's what predominantly we'll use on here. And we'll put the grass in just there like that so just tap 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 and it'll push it'll push that big hill way back and i've got all the different colors in the brush the browns the magentas the purples the greens and they'll start to come out so we're not going to get one massive block of color now as I'm filling this, I'm just going to fill this side up now. As I'm filling this up, I've got some some, some subscriber art, you know, some subscribers have, have emailed me and tagged me in pictures. And I just want to show you some of their work. It's absolutely fantastic what they're doing. It's absolutely fantastic. All I'm doing is just filling this in. So it's nothing, nothing that you haven't seen me do before. But just look at some of their work absolutely amazing and if you've got anything that you want to send me and it doesn't have to be a picture that i paint or the style i paint just if, if you've got a picture that you want me to show and you want to share with the uh, 
with the rest of the the, the art community. Tag me in a photograph. Send me a photograph. It's absolutely amazing what you guys are doing. Okay, and I take inspiration from that as well. That's perfect, isn't it? So again, I'm just putting some undercoat, under colour down here as well. I'll come back in in a minute and, and sort this out. This is just the the greens and the browns that were on the brush. Okay, probably can't see that. It's quite quite dark there. Okay, and the same down here. But we'll we'll get round to these little peninsulas, these banks shortly. Okay, let's work on. Uh, let's look, let's actually work on a bank. Okay, uh, a little bit of a mud, I think, to hold this, this water up, and then we can put some water lines in. So, uh, let's take, I'm going to just take, excuse me, it's got Van Dyke Brown, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, raw sienna, uh, yellow ochre, let's make a nice, good, muddy colour. Okay, and then burnt sienna as well, just a tiny touch. Okay, so down here, where you hardly see any bank, because it's far away, but then we'll just creep it up. And because we've got the dark on the underside as well, we don't really have to go too heavy on this. It's just there like that. Okay, just put a nice bank. And as it's coming to, towards us, we want to get wider with his, with his strokes. Thicker bank, you see. There we go. And if you can hear some guitar playing in the background, that's my, that's my lads playing. I don't know what they're learning to play, but they're playing it quite good, I think. I wish I could play like them. Next, they'll be busking for collectible 50p's. <laughs> and if you know, you know. Okay, so that's that side done. Let's go on to this side. Okay, there we go. So again, just cut some of that off and then we'll just put a bit of mud there. Then we can put the greenery on top of it. Okay, so just pull that down. I want the bank to be quite steep. Okay, sometimes we coast it into the wall, a nice gentle slope. And if you want to do that, you you can do that. If that, that place that you're painting has got that kind of bank, you do it. Okay, but for me today, this is how it is. There, like so. Like that. And of course, we can't see any on this side because we're on top of the hill. Okay, I'm going to take a bit of white paint and mix it with a bit of Van Dyke Brown. Just a bit of Van Dyke Brown and white paint. Okay, not too much. And I'm just going to here and there just tickle a little bit. Just touch, touch, touch. Just break up some of this this color we just want just just enough just to give a little bit of a break there so gentle just like you're putting snow on a mountain but i'm going straight down instead of at an angle okay maybe 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 there there and there okay same on this side again just just pick out where it needs to be just there there and there, like that. Okay, steep bank, yeah. <laughs> steep bank. Okay, uh, now let's put some, we'll need some water lines in before we put this side on because these water lines are gonna cut into this little this little peninsula, that, peninsula there. Okay, so we might as well do that now. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the big knife. Okay, I'm gonna grab the big knife. Put that dirty brush to one side. Get rid of that dirty brush. Okay. Get the big knife into some liquid white. Put it on the palette. Okay. Mix in a little tiny bit of titanium white and maybe grab the smallest amount of blue. Just so it's not overpoweringly bright. Okay. Clean the knife and clean it there. Okay. Okay, and then just zip straight across like that, so it's on there. And I'm going to touch the heel of the knife on the palette, and then I sorry on the canvas, and then draw with that because we're coming around a corner. But the, the knife needs to be parallel to the base, parallel to the base of the canvas. Okay, and you may need to keep reloading. 
that's five. So we do that. Just go straight over that mud. Cut straight into there. And come down. Use the point of the knife, the heel of the knife, there, like so. And then we come around here. Well, we've seen a little bit more now. We might put some reflections in, but just at this point, we can see some ripples at this side. Of course, we're going to paint over this, all right? But we just need to put those lines in there. Okay, so we'll just put a couple of a couple of little ripples there and there, maybe like that. Okay, like so. Okay, that's like that. So maybe we can just get rid of this. This has just got the blue on. So that's fine. So we can get rid of that. There, like that. Blend it in. It looks like the light's hitting that little bank. Um, okay, where's our little brush? Okay, we'll grab this one. And I'm just going to take, now we're getting a bit closer, just around this corner, we can just pull some of this mud down. And then gently go across, like you would normally do. You can't do it up there because it's too, uh, there's not enough paint. Okay, it's too far away, you wouldn't see it. Okay, and then just down here again, we'll pull some of this down. Just straight down and then straight across, just very gently. Not much, not much. Okay, back to the knife, back to the thin white paint, and then we can just come back in here and then just continuously cut in some water lines. There we go, and then we come around this corner. Oh, it starts there, doesn't it? So we can come. Again, keep the knife flat. Don't bend the knife. If you bend the knife, and so if you go down at an angle, you're going to end up like the water's running off, off your canvas that way. And yeah, water, regardless of what's happening to it, whether it's uh, uh, it, uh, like going over here, um, like a waterfall or anything like that, around this corner here, it will always be flat. Okay. Water doesn't have a tendency of going uphill. I think Bob Ross once said he was la he's lazy like he is. Bless big old Bob. Bless him. Okay, so again, we'll cut some more water lines in there. Again, keep the knife, the blade of the knife parallel to the base of the canvas. And just cut in, cut in a little water line. There. Okay, comes across. Again, so we want some here as well because... The bank would come down here, but we'd still get we'd still get some water ripples happening around there when out of paint. Okay, across there like that, there, there. Okay, and you can see where I've taken the script liner brush and I, I've I've painted some what what would be little like uh, weeds down in the water. So if you put the water line. Uh, on top of that, like that, grab a bit more of the, the white, it will push it down into the painting. There, like so. There, again, on this side, we'll put some more there, and across, and across there, like that. Da -da -da. There, look at that. So you can see nice and deep into the into that river. And we've hardly worked. We've hardly worked ourselves yet. You know, most of this comes in the prep. Okay, the the, the prep of the, uh, the the canvas using the black gessos, the black primers. Okay, so that's all you need to do for the stream. And all I'm going to do now is going to paint. The uh, the highlights on these uh, on these um, these little peninsulas. Okay, so let's go back in here. Let's take some of this. I'm going to grab a touch of black as well, just to darken that that back off. Just there, like that. Okay. And if you tap with your brush, you'll get a good idea of where where um, 
where your grasses grow, the lay of the land. Okay, so just do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. Boy, it's sweltering. I'm sweating here. I'm sweating doing this. Okay. And then same on this one. So again, cover that white water line that we put in. And then same on there. And then same on there, like that. Like so. If you want to darken it off a touch, got a bit more of the lamp black. And just put it in there. We're going to come back with all sorts of different little colours. Really set this on, set this off. Okay, set that down. Let's grab another one. Okay, so let's start up here. So let's grab some greens. Now this is just cad yellow and sap green. And you see, I've got the cad yellow and I've got the sap green. There's various other colours as well, but I mix them there for this yellow. The other yellows on the can on, on the palette, I thought. Things that I want to stay pure yellow. We don't want green up in the sky. So when I clean the camp, when I clean the palette, should I say, I try and keep my yellow separate. Okay. So just a little touch with a fan brush. Think about each individual hump, bump, just like that. So delicate, so delicate. And I'm not pushing, I'm not pulling. All I'm doing is just a gentle little tap. Gentle little tap. Feather that off to nothing, just over there. And a bit more here. Like that. Of course, you want all these grassy areas overhanging the bank. And that's what you've got to look for. And we're going to change the tone of the greens in a moment. Okay, so we'll get a bit more yellow. I'll tell you what's fun to do. Since we've got purple in the, in the hills, we'll put some purple on these meadows as well. I think we'll do that. In fact, I want to do it now. Okay, so let's grab, let's grab another fan brush. Let's grab a bit of the white. Okay, so that's just... That's just liquid white. Grab some of this magenta. Okay, use liquid white just to thin it down and brighten it up a little bit. Okay, and there we go. Maybe a little bit more there like that. Okay, and then only ever so slightly, every now and again, we don't want to go too crazy with this. Okay, if you've put too much of this, this purple in, it kind of, it kind of distracts what it's doing. Okay, so we'll put a couple of little bumps there and we'll have some on this side as well. And we'll get round to it. And we're gonna be there. I'll start us off there. There we go. We might have to come back and paint that in. I don't know, getting a bit giddy, Dan. Getting a bit giddy. Okay, so I'm gonna change the flavor of the greens now. I'm just gonna grab some uh, yellow ochre. And come back up in here and just just pick out where some uh, some yellow ochre kind of uh, plants live. And again in there, just like this. Okay, now do not kill all that dark area off, because so that's what gives the impression of, of of deepness and depth to the to the uh, to the composition. You just paint it in green paint. You, you know, we, we don't want that, do we? we? We want individual humps and bumps. If you've ever looked across a field, you don't just see, and, and really observed it, you don't just see um, just flat greenery. You just you see all kinds of different things. All kinds of little humps, bumps, nooks and crannies, different grasses, stones even. Okay, again, just... Tease some of these over the, over the bank, and again up here. Think about the shape of this hill as well. Where's it going? Do we even care where it's going? I don't know. Change the green again, and across there, like that. Okay, let's uh, 
Let's really sparkle some of these off. A bit more yellow in places. Like that. There we go. So we've got one side done. So let's go on to the other side. Okay, so this is just greens. Uh, let's get a bit of blue in that as well. <laughs> Gonna knit your nose. Load the fan brush full of paint okay and then just down here and that's too dark for me but it's picking up all that dark color that's underneath so we'll come back in and get it a little bit lighter so for that a bit of paint a bit of sorry liquid white and the yellows okay let's see what color we've got there that's it now you can see it now you can see it and then just tap that's all we're doing just tap Look at all those little different individual greens. Out. I've got a really, uh, you think I've got an air from the brush, a brush. I will put my teeth in and dead, uh, tickling my nose. There we go, tap again. Comes down there like that. Oh, look at that. Another little hill there. Change the flavour one more time. Yeah, like that. When you get so high up, you, you, you don't really get any trees growing. You get a few. Uh, you don't really get any trees growing on the moorlands and things like that. I don't know why. I don't know. It's not above the tree line, as far as I'm aware. Just down there like that, maybe that, that hangs down like so. And again, do not kill all the dark area. Do not kill all the dark area that we've put that we've put in. Okay, and then we'll come on this side, again grab some of that green, and then we'll tap in there like that. Just above the dark. Because we want the shadow to be underneath the uh, the colour that we we're painting. You don't have a shadow on top of your head now, do you? Or maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's change the flavour again. Let's grab some more of that. Indian yellow. Come in there like that. And then again, just think of each individual tree bump. Bump. Grass bump. Yeah. Like that. Again, not, not killing all the dark. Not killing all the dark. So maybe a bit more of that yellow. I want some more yellow in this. So just try and touch a little tiny bit of yellow in there. Maybe some little daisies are showing through. Now let's go to go to the purples again. We'll put another clump of purpley flowers just there. Like that. And then neaten this up. Look at that, grabbed a little bit of the orange in that now. There, look at that. That's looking something like, isn't it? There. Okay, and that is about it. How does that look to you guys? Let's sign this little do for a do. So I'm gonna take some, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some liquid clear and mix it in with the red. Because if I use paint thinner, because we've got um, liquid clear on here. If I use paint thinner, it might split. It might split. So thin oil, thin oil. And we'll sign it just down here. Where shall we go? Right down in the bottom corner. Just there, like that. Okay. So if you have enjoyed this one, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. If you do do this one, tag me in a photograph. Send me a photograph. I'd love to see what you're doing. And until next time, take care of yourself, stay safe, happy days.